Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pin it buttons to your Squarespace website. So pin it buttons are a really great feature that you can add to your Squarespace website or blog because they really encourage visitors to share your content on Pinterest. And if you're not familiar with Pinterest already, it's more than just a place where you are pinning like your favorite recipes and outfits you like. Like no, Pinterest is one of the biggest search engines out there. So it's a great tool that you can use to drive traffic back to your website and refer people um, to your content. So once you get the pin it feature enabled on your Squarespace website, you'll see the pin it button appearing when you hover over images that you've added to your site using the image block and they'll show up on blog posts, um, in the products section, as well as certain gallery blocks. So really all over the place. And Squarespace also lets you control where and how the pin it buttons appears so you can make sure that it's customized in a way that works best for your website. All right, enough of the intro, let me get started and I'll show you how to add pin it buttons to your Squarespace website. So once you've logged into the back end of your website, you're going to go down to marketing, then you're gonna click on pin it buttons, and then here you're going to enable the pin it buttons. So you have the option to either enable it for blogs or for blogs, pages, and products. So whichever one makes the most sense for you, you can click that. Um, in this case, let's just show you with blogs. Next up, now that you've selected an option, you get to customize the look and feel of these pin it buttons. So you can see down below the example of what that's going to look like on a demo image. So you can play around with things like the sizing. You can also change the shape, so whether circle or rectangle, and also the color, so red, white, or gray. So you can change it up and see what works well for you. And once you're happy with what the pin it button looks like, all you have to do is click save. And that change is gonna be applied. So let me show you what that looks like on my website using a recent blog post. So I've refreshed it. And now when I hover over an image on my blog post, you can see that the pin it button appears here. And all I have to do now is click it and then that's gonna get started on the pin it button so it's really easy for people to share to Pinterest. So thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button or you can even leave me a comment down below. I do have a free email course called Launch Your Best Site which I've linked to down below in the video description and this free course is all about how to build and launch a Squarespace website. So be sure to sign up for it and get started on your website if you haven't already. You can also take a look at the other video tutorials that are on my YouTube channel, as well as read the articles over on my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And there's tons more content over here all about Squarespace, SEO, website design and development, online business, and generally tons of wonderful tech tips. So head on over to my website, charlotteohara.ca, and you can click over on the blog section to get started on binging all of that awesome content. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a lot of fun playing around with these pin it buttons on your Squarespace website. Bye now.